here. It's a Necron Overlord. Mine's level 11. Look at him go. Looking pretty damn cool. I love this cape thing. So this is a new hero for The Last Stand, added by Relic as kind of a 5th anniversary type thing for Retribution. And it's free if you hurry up, if you get it before the 15th of March. You need to pay for it. Bunch of colour schemes even in there. Pretty cool model overall, some decent animations too. You'll see that in the game I just recorded. Uh, here's a bunch of the war gear. To mouse over a bunch of it for you. I don't have all of it obviously since I'm not level 20. But uh, can't do any more last standing today. I've had enough of it. For the time being. We've got... This is the thing I used. The Void Reaper. I couldn't remember the name of it when I was in the game. And I also made another mistake. What was it? Big surprise. I made another mistake. Oh yeah this. The Raiment of Resurrection. I thought this was unlocked with the achievement. But it's actually this thing that's unlocked with the achievement. Doomsday Edge. Which I've not tried yet. This thing also needs an achievement. Lord of the Risen Doom. Revive two allies at a time. Or one ally and yourself. With the Resurrection Orb. Okay then. Have a bunch of ranged weapons. Where is the good one? This one. Staff of the Obelisk. Not a lot of damage per second there. But it does shoot three projectiles. And they like explode on impact. And do area effect damage. It's pretty good. Decent in melee too. Let's have a look at the model here. Look at that. Does it look the same as the Celestial? No, Celestial looks different. I've actually seen this thing in action. I guess it's single target DPS. We've also got Staff of the Phaeron. Wow, it's a massive amount of damage. Did not see this either. Must have unlocked some stuff I didn't even realise in the last game. Look at that. Grants armor piercing plus 75 energy and tons of DPS there. Not sure how often it attacks though. We've got Warsythe of Extinction which is a pretty damn awesome name. And it gives you this. Necrotic Barrier. Which I forgot the name of in the game you're going to see in a second. But it's a green thing. It's a big green line of stuff that does cool things. You'll see. Diadem of Nemosaur is the armor I go for. It makes you really tanky with 125 armor. On top of the extra armor you can get and stuff. And gives you combat expert. Which is pretty useful. Plus 30% 30, plus 30 damage across the board. We've also got this thing. Tachyon Diadem. Which gives you Tachyon Arrow. Which is freaking useless. It only costs 5 energy. Look how cool it sounds. Fire a hyper accelerated armor piercing bolt at the target. It does barely anything. And it has a long cooldown as well. Maybe you meant to use it with the Celestial Staff to lower your cooldowns and stuff. We've also got this. Not tried this ability yet. Void Blast, there it is. Discharge energy from either the stuff, the stuff of light or war scythe at a target, blasting it backwards and dealing damage. Okay, maybe that's a good big single target blast. We've got accessories, Mind Shackle Scarabs, which is absolutely terrible. Nowhere near as cool as it sounds. Inflict Mycenaean Scarabs into the target squad, causing it to fight for your cause for a duration. The range of it is tiny. Also has a really long cast time and it doesn't last very long. So it's pretty much pointless. We've also got this. Glyph of the Wraith which just gives you Swift which makes you 25% faster. There it is. Narrow Scarabs. A pretty good um, modal energy draining thing that gives you crazy regen. Not quite as crazy as Glyph of the Reclaimer which I use in the match you're just about to see. But you need a lot of enemies around you for this to work. And this thing. Raymond of the Tesseract. The Tesseract Tomb is awesome. Wish I used it in the game that I just played. But I wanted to try out the Resurrect Orb. Didn't do a whole lot for me. But yeah. The tomb thing is awesome. Does it look a lot like a tomb. On the map. Just like a, bunch, a green mass of stuff. But suppresses and prevents any kind of attacking and movement. It's pretty crazy. Costs 30 energy to use, I think. Yeah, not that much. So yeah, you'll see you'll see a game in a second. And here's what I've unlocked for this guy. I'm not sure if I'll do another video when he's level 20, if I even bother to get this guy to level 20. But um, pretty cool that it was added. Go check him out if you haven't already. So here we are in the Anvil of Corn. And here's my Necron Overlord. I've gone for a pretty tanky melee build. It's got this scythe. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's probably got a cool name. Uh, kills most infantry in one or two hits. Also got Entropic Strike. 
which is not all that useful since he's got armor piercing already so stripping all of the armor I mean it's useful for like the avatar and the massive units and stuff also got resurrection orb which I only just unlocked this is one of the items you need to unlock with um the with an achievement so I don't know what the hell it does exactly stops you from dying it seems from the tool tip can I move please there we go and I've got this thing which is awesome immortal reclamation basically the more enemies around you the more health regen and the more you damage the enemies as well but you can't move or attack or anything while it's active Riku is a level 5 Necronova Lord so he doesn't have the any of the commander items yet unfortunately and we've got Twalali as a level 20 Lord General so hopefully we get to level 20 at least we should Wave 20, I should say. But it's going to be slow going. Necrons kind of amble around. Look at them. Pretty decent animations, though, on the attacks, I think. Shaky screen. There we go. Two attack animations. One kind of backhand scythe. And one going forwards. This is Lord General packing. Ogrins and a sniper rifle. No turrets that I can see. Didn't bother to look at his wall kit as we were loading in. Been playing a lot of Last Stand to level this guy up to 10. And uh, there's only so much Last Stand you can do in a day before you go crazy. And I think I'm just on the edge of it. As you can see, they can't really touch me at all. I've got uh, plus 100... Plus 100 armor accessory and another accessory that gives me 90 hit points and plus 3 health regen. Necron Overlord is all about the health regen if you want to tank with him. Yes, you get massive amounts of it. Can become pretty much immortal if he's got enough energy to keep the regen active because this thing drains your energy and so do the repair nanobots. Nano scarabs, I should say. This line thing is weird. Blocks all pathing, which causes the AI to go absolutely ballistic. Does some decent damage and knockback when it goes off too, as you see there. Can clear out a big chunk of stuff with it if you hit it right. Pulling in something there. Some more ogrens to replace the ones that were slightly damaged. Still some orcs now. Wave 5. It's gone relatively quickly. Let's use this thing. Immortal Reclamation. Got a decent little mob here to use it on. There we go. And it gives me crazy health regen and damages everything. Better at taking out the weak units, obviously. I don't think it has much kind of armor piercing on it. But there was that. Am I going to die now once it wears off? Can I tank all of these knobs? don't think I can without the nano scarab repair maybe if I can kill him quickly enough there we go so yeah the the models pretty good I really like the cape the kind of lattice metal cape or whatever the hell it's meant to be yeah I yeah, did them all but uh, he seems to be a bit shorter than I'd expect this old Necron overlord I don't know how tall they're meant to be but it's not as tall as a marine in power armor. I thought they'd at least be as tall as that. Maybe he's kind of hunched over or something. He's like a million years old, isn't he? Die, orcs. Hurry up. Yep. Yeah. It's not the most active build around. I'm not sure what he unlocks later on. Oh, it's a rocket run. Not seen any big kind of nuky items yet. Though the reclamation can be awesome if you're in a massive blob of stuff. Let's get into this little blob here and use it. They should die pretty damn quickly. There we go. Sweet. People have had a lot of pathing issues with this Necron Overlord. Not sure what's going on with that. It seems... This is a bit weird, but he seems to... Like he has to get closer than usual to begin his melee animation kind of thing. Which can cause problems. 
And you've got these green walls popping up. More Ogrins. Wave 6. I'm not sure what any of the waves are on this map. Even though I've played it a trillion times. Hasn't been for a while. Die. Yay. It's much easier to finish than the other map, I think, because you wave 20 is a lot easier. And you don't have the really annoying clone wave on 16. Okay, let's start off. The middle waves are kind of a bit more difficult, especially for low-level heroes. And as I said, Riku's only a level 5 overlord over there. I managed to get to level 10 today. Can't get into the garrisons. Too fat. Look. Can't get in there. Even though he doesn't look that big, does he, this fella? Dwarfed by those ogrins over there. I want to kill some Tyranids. What is this orb? Let me just see what this freaking orb does. Oh, do you just drop it? I guess so. Cannot be killed in its radius and will be revived when it fully activates if they were already incapacitated. Okay. None of my allies know that, by the way, so you might see them leave the orb. Kill that dreadnought very, very quickly. Oh, this is one of the other carries, yeah. Rocket run. One of those 50 energy nukes. Die faster. Let's look at what the Lord General's doing. I bet it's way more interesting than my build. Holy crap. He almost died to that special attack from the Dreadnought, I think. And I was not paying attention and probably not moving or anything. Kill this apothecary. Yay. They actually do heal, I think. Oh, there's another apothecary there. Let's kill him. Watch the Ogrins smack around some tactical marines. Wave 9 coming up. I guess I should have just... Oh crap, he's stuck. Oh, there we go. There's a whole lot of stormtroopers. And they got wrecked by the green thing. I forgot what the hell it's called. That's the... Um, War Scythe or something. War Scythe of Extinction, I think it's called. Which is a pretty cool name. That's that thing that Riku's using there. Not sure what my side is called. Boom! Cool special attack animation as well. Doesn't seem to be any sync kills, and there are also no. There's no voice work at all. It's a little bit unfortunate. Since the Tau. The Tau fella got voice work. I was worried that they'd just stick the Necron body on an existing skeleton and use existing animations, but at least they did not do that. Let's use some reclamation. And drain all these orcs of their life force. There we go. As you can see, when there's tons of enemies, it's ridiculous. But a lot of things are ridiculous in the last end. It's where, you can, it's where you go to feel ridiculously overpowered. Boom. Wave 10. It's going reasonably quickly with Twilight's help. The Necron overlords, from what I've seen from the things I've seen so far don't have massively killy war gear 
It's very tanky and does a lot of single target damage with their attacks. Rocket run. Boom. Freaking warp spiders now. We use some of that thing. Here we go. Not going to kill me with that active, that's for sure. Seer Council, these guys are crazy. And even though I'm meant to be immune to knockback and immune to suppression, the Seer Council leap seems to knock me back a little bit. That's some super knockback. Let's tear through some warp spiders. Hopefully we can do this. I got to level twenty, uh, wave twenty, a couple of times on this map, and got overwhelmed with the low-level Necrons. But we're in with a good shout with Polly's high-level Lord General. Wave twelve. What the hell is it? It is a bunch of chaos stuff. Okay, an entire rocket run, some heretics. I can dig that. This stuff should die really fast to this ability. Well, the heretics will anyway. Boom! Now we can deactivate it and just melee down the blood pressure. Ricky's using his green Necron line thing to good effect. Pretty interesting ability. Probably the most interesting I've seen so far. You've got knockback damage and like a barrier at the end of it. Well, he's got some crazy plans. We are indeed unshakable. Probably one of the most useful traits in the last stand you die so much from like chain knockback and stuff go to tank all right then what is wave 13 is it orcs it's Tyranids! Can I get a, can I round up a massive amount of them? It's a rocket run to take out the Swarm Lord. And he did take out the Swarm Lord. I wanna round up loads of these Formagaunts and stuff. Oh, they're all going off the Twilight Lake. Fine. Let's use it here. Still killing stuff left and right. Lasts a hell of a long time as well. He doesn't doesn't take up that much energy per second. All right, rocket run. Wow, what is the cooldown on that thing? That seems pretty quick. Because it's mostly limited by costing 50 energy. Oh, I should have used the orb, but it takes so long to come out. Oh, I didn't have the energy anyway. 35. The Zonthropes pack a punch in the last stand. Down you go. Wave 14 then. We're getting up there. It's Marines. Is this the one with the Predator tanks? They are really painful. They might be the one with loads of Dreadnoughts. I think the Predators are a bit later. The Dreadnought right there. Some Assault Marines. And they're just leaving us. Going straight after Tolale, I think. More Dreads. 
Do they have? I think they have their barrage. I don't think they use the barrage when they appear on the other map. I could be wrong though. They definitely use one here. I've seen them use it. But not right now. Oh, there it is. Oh, there is a Predator tank. Where's Tolale? Oh, he's in the garrison. Doesn't have his openings out. He needs to get out of the garrison to pull more down, but doesn't want to, obviously. There we go. Die. One shot in these scouts. It's getting a little bit laggy. I always seem to get a little bit laggy on the later waves of this map. Never used to happen. Rocket run is absolutely decimating everything. See the barrier blocking off those openings there. Oh, Lehman Rust Wave. Let's get in and drain all of this stuff. Or he's tried to. There we go. Ogrins are not moving. What's going on, fellas? Oh, he did a rocket run on me. It worked. Yeah, yeah, Ogrins are moving again. Oh, I'm level 11 now. What a moron. I thought I was level 10 all this time. Sorry, Lehman Russ. The crew should come running out and you can kill him. That's what should happen. Orcs. Is there a war boss? Oh, it's a big battle wagon, that's it. It spawns kind of late though. Where the hell is it? See it? Should be enough for a decent reclamation. There's the bow wagon. Yeah, more stuff. More stuff to drain. Okay. That was awesome. Kill this bow wagon. See if we can get on the real armor of it. Look at the state of this map now because these rocket runs. I can't I can't get behind it. He cannot path there. Gonna go down quickly anyway. Boom! Wave 17, bunch of Eldar. This is what, the Avatar I guess? Let the power of the Eldar wipe our enemies away. Avatar does massive, massive damage. And then after this, it's the Korean King one, and then it's the Bane Blade, and it's the final wave. I remembered. Do some of that. Whole bunch of Banshees over there. We've got our health sapping groove on. I'm gonna go fight this Fire Prism now. Where's the Avatar? Did they take it out already? Maybe they took it out. Oh, there it is. Go fight it. Sounds like a good idea. Come on, Avatar. Over here. Where's he going? Chasing a little general, I think, but he just stopped to have a little look. Here we go. We can use this thing to drain all of its armor off. Entropic Strike. And then we should do more damage with our hits. There we go. Easy. Oh, 
Alrighty, feeling feeling good about this one. A lot better than we did previously. No deaths, right? I don't think so. Okay, so there's tons of blood letters, and these guys do tons of damage. And uh, I think a bit of everything: blood crushers and dreadnoughts and chaos preds, and of course the great clean one who does explode on death. I died to that earlier. The Necron Lord, Overlord, uh, refused to move. Uh oh, Dark Ricker in trouble, where is he at? He's over there. Those blood letters, they really kick some ass. Let's drop my orb and do this thing. Die. Here's the Grand Queen one. Doesn't do that much damage, the big fella. In the last turn. But tons of health, obviously. Have to be a bit careful here. Where is Twilight? He's in the garrison, just gonna help him out. Or rather run away from this stuff and fight over here. self-heal going on. Look at that health regen. More ogrins. Yes, fresh ogrins. Oh wow, I'm really struggling to path up to this tank. Can't attack it. Okay, let's just attack the Grand King one then. He's gonna explode though, so let's not stay here. Can I move please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogrins are gonna get owned by the explosion, I think. Oh, they lived. They lived. Okay, so this thing goes down, it's gonna be the Bane Blade wave. And this one's tough, there's like a, a trillion Ogrins. What's this? Oh, the Bane Blade spawns immediately. We'll bury you here. He's gonna rocket run it, isn't he? There it is. Did he actually hit the Bane Blade? I hit it a little bit. Oh, Ricky dropped. Damn it. See how far we can get without him. Had a few disconnects and crashes today. Not myself, but uh, a couple of the people we played with have been having issues. Not sure if that was the update or what. So I'm almost down. Looks like we're not going to be finishing this at all. Holy crap, just got my reclamation up in time. Rocket run. Need to get out of here. Need to get out of here. Bane blades hurt, it turns out. Just keep running. Let my natural regen do its thing. Ouch. Run into a Lehman Russ. Gotta kill some stuff. Uh oh, went down. another rocket run that should finish off the Lehman Russ and the Ogrins nicely done and he can revive me can I see how much health is in these garrisons I guess not and I guess that we'll see what we can do in wave 20 of just two characters rear arm hits on that Bane Blade look at the massive amounts of damage I'm doing holy crap Can he get a good rocket run here? This might be the difference if he can get a good rocket run or not. Would wish I had the um, the tomb ability 
and not the orb. It seems a bit better. The Tesseract Tomb or whatever it's called. Someone's already kicking off in the cutscene. Oh, she's the Ogre and he's taking some shots. And there's the rocket run immediately. Wow, almost finished them all off. This should be relatively easy, although they are regenerating health, I think. Wow, these guys are tough. I dropped my orb. Keep moving. And do some of this. Oh, I didn't quite get it off in time. Oh well. But well, he's gonna go down. He got a rocket run off though, and there you have it, guys. There is some Necron Overlord in the last stand. I am last standed out for the day. Let's see what I unlock here if I level up again. It says I'm level 10 here. It says I was level 11 in game. Now I'm level 11. Now I'm confused. I'm really tired and confused. I didn't unlock anything though. Weird. Very weird. Anyway. There he is. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.